Shalom. We are so glad to join with you another week to explore and discover God's Word. And uh, we pray that we will be able to apply His Word in our lives as we look into His Word and meditate upon it. This week, we are going to be looking at the richness of God's love. The word love evokes many meanings to us. And it is an interesting subject for people of all ages. Human love is often redefined many times. The biggest love story you and I have read is found in the Bible from the beginning to the end. And we see it as the love of God. An intrinsic component of God's character and nature is His love. There are so many aspects of God's love that we will look into as we go through these devotionals this coming week. Today, we look at the dimensions of God's love. Reading a verse from scripture, Ephesians 3 verses 18 to 19, I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. If you are a parent and if you have children and if you ask them to quantify their love for you, they would probably come out with a string of numbers they use every numerical vocabulary that they have and they come out with a number to express the vastness of their love. And which is to mean that their love for you is very, very large. The idea is to understand these dimensions of love. And that's something that's too wonderful to even um, be measured. Each of us were created by God as a unique um, object of His infinite love. Not only do you and I have the gift of this amazing life, but we have, He's also given us the gift of this amazing love as the source of our life's fulfillment. If we look in the verse today that we read, Paul is saying a prayer and he's asking for an empowering to discover the magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. So he's praying that we have the capacity to grasp or the capacity or the strength to know the immense and unfathomable dimensions of his love so that we will be filled with the goodness of God. He, it, he's also making a prayer that we have the capacity to know uh, this extravagant dimensions of God's love for us through the terms that he uses. He uses um, how wide the, the depth, the height of God's love. So when we look at God's love, his love is so enduring and it is so inclusive. It is an endless love that is beyond our understanding and it transcends our every knowledge. And this love is something that may not be, that we cannot fully explain, but it's something that we can experience. This love of God has no limits. It shows that His love for us surpasses every boundary in every direction. That's how wide His love is for you, how deep His love is for you, how, how, um, strong and how, uh, how wonderful that love is for you. And no matter what, he loves with this kind of a love, with the description that he, he gives. Do you know that no matter who you are or what you have done, you can never be excluded uh, uh, from this love. This love of Christ is so wide, it's so long, it's so high, it's so deep you couldn't possibly reach um, the end of it. You, as a child of God, are immersed in the dimensions of God's love. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, 
we pray that we will be able to grasp these dimensions of your love and know the way that you extravagantly love us. And may we live in the knowledge and the fullness of your love. May your love be the strength of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.